Hey, Mike here with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Take 3 by Cosmos Bag Company. I reviewed the 88 2.0 by Cosmos a little while ago. Absolutely love that bag. The Take 3, I believe, is their newest release bag that they put out. So let's go ahead and jump in. We'll start with the design. I actually like this. It's a very simple, very clean design. It's got Cosmos there. It's got the Take 3, the model here. It kind of looks like a, a movie or a film strip across there. Very clean, very simple, uh, easily identifiable. I, I, I actually love I love the simplicity of it and the way it stands out. These bags are, um, or you can get these bags ACO stamped, or I believe you can get them without stamp either way. So if you play an ACO events or you need a non-stamp bag, a non-ACO stamp bag, this is definitely a wonderful option for that. Material-wise, the slow side. This is that herringbone carpet that you see on the Wizard. The Fallout X, the Sorcerer has it now. In fact, the Sorcerer is making it very, very popular. A lot of bags are coming out with this, I think, because of the Sorcerer. The Reynolds Renegade I reviewed recently has it on there. Uh, it's a wonderful material. It, it, I, I call it a six speed. It, it's a slower six, maybe a five and a half to six, but I call it a six. But it's a material that you can manipulate. So if you want it to slow it down, you can get a little dirty. You can rough it up. You can slow it down to like a three and a half or four speed if you want. So that three and a half to six speed range, anywhere in there, depending on how you want this to play and, and how you manipulate it, you can get there. I call it a six speed. Fast side is that Pro Sniper, Deadhead, a Viper fast side material, nine speed, it, you know, it can push through anything on the board, slot up any board conditions, wonderful fast side material. So you're looking at a five to six on the slow, nine on the fast template. This is that medium template, kind of that sweet spot template. So it's not too big, it's not too small. Uh, it's It's got a fair amount of flop to it. It's not a big puffy bag by any means. It's not a super, it's not the floppiest bag I found, but it's, it's got a fair amount of flop. However, on bags, when I start getting to this middle, mid to fast speed bags, I like a little more flop because to me, this floppiness allows that corner of that bag to really grab that hole as you go by. So it's a little more forgiving if you're a little off left or right. So I don't mind the floppiness. It really, I think it works well for this bag, the way it's designed. The fill in here, I think it's 100% that small disc fill. It's always tough on fill because I'm trying to feel through the bag and I can't tell. And, and the fill that goes in these cornhole bags isn't actually made for cornhole. Believe it or not, the companies aren't making this for cornhole. This is resin fill and pellets for other things that, that the cornhole community has, has adapted to and purchased it to use for their cornhole bags. And sometimes those, the fill isn't as uniform or there's some pieces in there that are a little oddly shaped. And so when I'm filling the bags, sometimes you feel a piece and go, well, that feels like a bead, but it's like, well, is that actually a bead? Is this actually intended to be a bead? Or is that one of those discs that's just deformed or broken or whatever? So it's hard to tell. If it's not 100%, that small disc fill is probably at 95%. So you get that really wonderful hand feel that you get with that disc fill. You get the the, the, it, it, the back lands very soft it has almost no kick to it at all so it'll it lands soft flattens out and runs very true up the board there's very little bounce in this bag um, it's it's just it's a wonderful um, material combination it's a great fill great template in fact the bag when i first started throwing this bag the bag it reminds me of is the fallout x i mean it, the same materials the same fill and, and if you watched my review of the fallout x I absolutely love that bag it's, it's one of my favorite bags so if you if you're a fallout x thrower or even a sorcerer thrower but you need a non-stamped version or an ACO stamped version of that bag, check out the Take 3. It, 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 it's, it's definitely in that, it's that same type of bag. If you love those, you're gonna love this. Now, playability wise, this is a very versatile bag. This is why this material is so popular because you could do a lot with it, right? You can obviously run bags in the hole. It's fast enough, you can slide bags up, run bags in the hole all day long, outscore your opponent, no problem. Both these materials are very hole friendly. Um, very little issues with the bags hanging on the on the hole. In fact, I talked about the floppiness and the forgiveness. This bag is very forgiving because it is floppy. And, and when I, what I mean is, I was talking about, the, talking about the landing spot where you have to land your bag on the board. So you kind of take that hole and I, I take the hole and I draw, you almost draw a little bit of a, depending on which side you're standing on the board, whether you're inside arm, outside arm, you kind of draw, it's almost like a little bit of a odd shaped triangle coming down to you. And that, that when it gets down towards, you know, two thirds way down the board, that's the width of your landing spot that you have to hit to get that bag run up. Well, when you get a bag like this, a little bit floppier, a little looser, you can widen it a little bit because I don't have to hit the hole perfectly. If I can just get the corner to grab that hole on one side or the other, it's going to grab it, spin around and just melt right in. And, and that's where the floppiness of the bag really makes it forgiving. So if I'm a little off left or right, there's still a chance this bag is gonna is gonna make up for that mistake, cover that mistake, and still go in the hole. And I absolutely love that about that about this bag. It really did a great job of grabbing the hole most time, melting around and, and, and just dropping right in for me, no problem. And the times that it didn't drop in, it still wasn't usually that hard to collect. I don't remember leaving a lot of bags hanging in the hole. Might have been a few times I did, but for the most part, I didn't have to get crazy aggressive. If there's a bag hanging there, my next bag just coming in would, would kind of just bump into it and went down and, and pull it right in, no problem. So a very easy to collect bag. 
which makes it a wonderful blocker as well. You can definitely slow this material down and control it and throw your blockers up there. It makes a decent blocker. It's not a big bag, but it's big enough. And it's going to take up enough space to cause a visual obstacle for your opponent. And if your opponent's not used to collecting bags, it can cause them to make a mistake. It's not a, it's, it's, this material is again, not that sticky unless you manipulate it to make it. So as far as blockers, it's not going to cause a lot of bags to kick off because, you know, when you, when you push into it, it's just, it's just going to give and, and fall right in the hole with it. Um, so it's, it's not going to cause bags to hit and kick off like a stickier material does. However, it can cause enough of a visual obstacle or just a, a nuisance to your opponent if you want to do that right and, and and the bag is very easy to collect if you got a bag hanging out there it doesn't take much to clip a corner and you can drag these bags in I didn't very rarely did I have an issue where I had to get really aggressive and just go way over to, ca to catch a bag they're pretty easy to collect uh, they, they they don't like I said they don't hang on the hole so if you get it going in the hole they're usually both gonna fall I didn't have many issues with these bags bunching on me at all um, you know kind of the, <laughs> the issues I had with the Reynolds Renegade I didn't have like this. This is this is to me is a better version of that Renegade. This is what I wanted that Reynolds Renegade to be, and it just didn't turn out that way. Um, but but yeah, it was a very fun bag to throw. I put a ton of bags in the hole with it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's a this material is a material that you can definitely cut with. It, it's not going to cut really super hard, but it's definitely a cuttable material. This is not a bag that's really going to be a roll bag for most players, um, just because it's too floppy. It it lands too softly. It doesn't have that bounce, that movement that I really like for a roll bag. It doesn't have that sticky, real sticky side for a roll. Not a great roll bag. Now, if you do rough this material up and slow it down to like that three or a half, four speed, then you can turn this into a roll bag to some point. But I still, for me, I would like a little fuller bag if I want to roll. If I'm looking to roll, it's probably not the take three. I'm, I'm going to grab a different bag to play a roll style game with. But I don't need to play a roll style game with it, right? I, I, you know, because this bag is so forgiving, I can throw that blocker up there. I can throw a cut, kind of a get around, because all I gotta do is catch the hole. If I can just catch a corner of this bag in the hole, this bag is gonna drop in and leave my blocker there. And I can do, you know, throw the first bag blocker, two get arounds, then cover my third bag and collect it. And usually when I'm collecting this bag, I, I will usually collect slow side. This slow side is fast enough that I can just push through and collect. The only time I flip over to fast side is if it's is if I'm trying to push through multiple bags, but two or three bags, there, I want to push through, I'll go slick side. Or if it's my last bag, if I'm throwing my fourth bag, I'll, I'll throw fast side just to make sure it pushes and follows in. Sometimes this slow side will push and just replace and sit there. And I don't want that on my, on my fourth and final bag, right? So I'll go slick side for that. But honestly, you can go slow side for most of your collection. You don't really have to change a lot. This, this material is fast enough. It will push through, push the bag in a lot of times, fall in with it. So it, it's a very versatile bag as far as, as far as the playability. I like bags like this because I can play one round and just run bags in the hole. Next round, I can play a blocker. And I can just keep changing up and keep my opponent off guard. Uh, and this is really a bag, too, that I think most everybody should have, at least in your backpack, in your arsenal. Because if you're a carpet bag thrower, like, like I love to throw carpet bags. I, I typically throw those stickier carpet bags. But sometimes I do want to play a little faster game. Maybe the boards are just slowing down a little bit, and I want a bag that's going to slide a little more. Maybe I just want to play a different style game. This material still plays a lot like carpet, so I don't have to change the, the play style as much. I just play my normal carpet game, but with the faster bags. It's wonderful for that. If you're a carpet player and you want to tra transition to trying some faster bags, this is a great transition bag. If you're a fast bag player and you want to transition down into carpet, this is a wonderful transition bag. If you throw fast bags, sometimes those fast bags, that 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 seven speed material, that Viking Pro Advantage fast sides are a lot of the slow sides of fast bags, doesn't play well in humidity. This is a wonderful humidity bag. Both sides still move pretty well in humidity. So if you, if you get into this situation where those that slow side of the fast bag is just sticking and not moving this is a great bag to jump down to it still play like a fast style game but it'll move up the board you know if boards are too fast for your fast bag and you need to get a slower bag this is a wonderful material it's a very versatile bag that most everybody can play with in some form or another a wonderful blind draw bag because carpet bag throwers can play it fast bag throwers can play it it's not a big adjustment for both players so sometimes you go to a blind draw and you get a player that only wants to throw a fast bag and you only want to throw a slow bag and you just can't find a compromise this is a wonderful compromise bag so i can't recommend enough have blast on it availability cosmos does their um business on the facebook page i'll put a link in the description for you and you can message them there about the bags about if you want customs all that stuff these bags run i, I hope i get this right i think it was 85 dollars a set shipped to you that's all in Wonderful price at the cheaper end. It's definitely worth getting. You're getting. You're getting your money's worth on that. And I would say if you're, you know, if you're kind of looking at the sorcerers, maybe you're thinking about getting a set of sorcerers. Maybe you're thinking about getting a set of Fallout X's, but you don't want to pay those higher prices. Buy a set of Cosmos. They take threes. It's it's a cheaper investment. Buy it. Try it out. If if you like this, and then you still want to buy one of those, you can get one of those. Because if you need an ACL stamp version, you have to go to one of those. But this is definitely a cheaper way to get in. Um, well worth the money. I, I I highly recommend these take threes. I have a blast throwing them. In fact, they um. 
Cosmo sent me a set with my custom logo on that. So this is this bag is going to end up in my backpack and, and be going around with me. I just I have a, I had a blast throwing these. I think you will too, guys. So definitely check out the Take Three by Cosmos. I thank you guys so much for the support and thanks for watching. I could feel the sweat inside my palm. Play with me like cats.